In an old, dilapidated mansion, untouched by human hands for years, stood a dusty mirror. This wasn't just any mirror. It held an aura that was as chilling as the cold wind that blew through the cracks of the crumbling mansion. A shroud of mystery surrounded it, stories whispered by those who had dared to venture into the forsaken mansion. This mirror, draped in layers of dust and cobwebs, was avoided like the plague. Its surface didn't reflect the present, but showed a distorted, sinister version of the viewer. A version that was not of this world, but of a world filled with shadows and fear. It was as if the mirror held a curse, a dark enchantment that threatened to trap the observer in a realm of eternal darkness. The mirror stood there, silent, waiting, its chilling secret locked within its glassy depths. No one dared to touch it until one brave soul decided to challenge the curse. A courageous spirit, unafraid of the tales surrounding the mirror, decided to cleanse it of its years of neglect. This was a person of great determination, unyielding in their resolve. They looked upon the dusty mirror, not with fear, but with a sense of challenge. The tales of distorted sinister reflections were no more than stories to them, mere whispers of the weak-hearted. With a cloth in hand, they began the task of restoring the mirror to its former glory. As they wiped away the grime, the mirror seemed to have a life of its own. It was as if, with each stroke, the mirror was revealing more than just their reflection. Every swipe of the cloth was met with an eerie chill, as if the mirror was resisting the intrusion. Yet, the brave soul continued unflinching in their task, oblivious of the growing whispering shadows. And then, as the last layer of dust was wiped away, something unexpected happened. From the mirror, a ghostly hand emerged, reaching out for the brave soul. It was a sight that could freeze even the bravest of hearts. The mirror, once merely an object of curiosity, had become a portal for the paranormal. As the spectral hand extended further, the atmosphere grew colder, the shadows deeper. The brave soul tried to recoil, to escape from the chilling grasp of the ghostly hand. But it was futile. The hand, pale and translucent, held an iron grip that was too powerful to resist. Despite the brave soul's struggles, the ghostly hand pulled them closer, inch by terrifying inch to the mirror. The room echoed with their desperate pleas, their futile attempts to resist the pull of the otherworldly force. But the mirror, as cold and unfeeling as the hand that emerged from it, swallowed their cries. And just like that, the brave soul disappeared into the mirror, leaving behind only their cleaning cloth. Now, trapped in the mirror, the brave soul became a part of the cursed mirror. Their fate, once a tale of courage, now twisted into a chilling narrative of the unknown. In the world of the mirror, reality and reflection became indistinguishable. The brave soul wandered aimlessly, their existence now nothing more than a distorted echo of their former self. The spectral hand that once reached out was nowhere to be found, leaving the brave soul alone in a realm of endless night. Every moment spent in the mirror's grasp added another layer to its haunted history. The mirror's surface, once dusty and forgotten, now shimmered with an eerie glow, a silent testament to the soul it had claimed. But what of the brave soul? Their story, their struggle, their desperate hope for escape, all were absorbed into the mirror's chilling lore. What happened to the brave soul in the world of eternal darkness remains unknown, leaving us to wonder, will they ever escape, or are they forever a prisoner of the mirror?